Dante, talk to me a little bit about your one nothing loss tonight against Wapahani. Um, it was a well-fought game. Uh, some stuff didn't go our way, and the one, the one goal was a free kick, and it was just a good shot. And Yeah, it was just a good shot. It's one of your last home games now. you got one more left. As a senior, how do you feel you've played a role on your underclassmen's year? How I played on a role? Uh, I hope that um, the way I play and how I acted, well, not how I act sometimes, but the way I played te teaches them that just to go out there and give 110% every day. And I hope that I made a big impact on all their playing and that they keep it up for the next I mean, however many years they play. You have Oldenburg tomorrow. They're ranked in the state. Talk to me a little bit what you're looking forward to in that matchup. Uh, I'm looking forward to develop toughness. They're going to be a tough team. They're going to be physical. And I just hope that our kids just play with them and just play tough and give them a shot. And that's all I ask for is just a shot. Tonight you played on, a, I guess you would say, a nice, rainy, cold, windy day. Talk to me a little bit how that might help you as you move forward into sectionals where you may not know where October weather is like. Um, I think it's great to play on rainy days because, like you said, you never know when it's going to be rainy, when it's going to be well, snowy. I mean, it's Indiana, you never know. But I think getting ready right before sectionals when rainy, it helped. It prepared us a lot for the slick conditions and the ball rolling and sliding everywhere. You play Knightstown, and that's huge. You're in sectionals. Uh, you went down on them in the first half, three to nothing. As one of your first games of the year, talk to me a little bit how your team's improved and how you're going to improve to play Knightstown. Uh, we've improved a lot um, since that game. I mean, we didn't have one of our players because he's out, and now that he's back, I think he's made a big impact. Our midfield has gotten way better than what it was, and we just really got to control the ball more and just pass around them. I mean, they're a good team, and it's going to be tough to try and beat them. Seton's a top seed in the state now. They're in your sectional. Uh, are you looking forward to a potential rematch against them later this year? Uh, definitely. I've played with those kids probably my whole life, and I would love to give them one last shot before it's over.